All right, hey Taurus, so I'm doing a separation read, a uh, continuation from the ones I put out yesterday. So um, just know that your uh, fire, air signs, they were already put out. So if you guys have placements for moon rising or Venus that you need to check again, yes, yesterday, you're going to know this is your read by your current energy, the past, and what caused the separation. Um, so if that doesn't resonate with you, that's where you'll check those other placements out. Um, and if you're new, welcome. I do hope you guys will stick around and subscribe if you like my vibe. Let's just see where you're at. Where is Taurus's energy? Your energy, Taurus. Ooh, we got the lover's card. So that could be about choices be that need to be made. It could just be that you are very um, heavily drawn, all right, to this person on your mind. Um, your energy. So uh, you, you're coming through with the guarded heart, the protecting the heart, not letting anybody in. All right. With the king and the knight of wands coming through, it could be that you guys um, are just feeling really in this um, really positive energy. Um, you know, the, the leadership roles, visionary roles, um, entrepreneur, just focused on making money, um, you know, Energy, energetic, you know, having reinstilled some passion for your life, um, inspired action. It could be that you are adventurous right now. It could be too that you're kind of acting hasty with scattered energy or becoming easily frustrated. It could be that you have high expectations for everyone around you. Um, you could be feeling a little bit ruthless and um, it could just be that the negative energy is coming from um, you know, maybe a cycle being closed out with you and this person. Um, I feel like, uh, it could be on both the positive and negative energies drawing from these cards. Um, it could be to a mixture. So having ups and downs at one, one minute, you you're doing just fine. You're going good. Everything's good. You don't care what's transpired. You're moving along in the next minute. Boom. Um, the, the energy hits you, um, wrong. Um, you know, and you just kind of come back down. Um, so I feel like you're kind of going up and down. It's like in one minute you're moving up, you're moving away from the connection. You're moving forward. Everything's going fine. And then boom, it hits you again. So let's see what the past is between you and this person. So in the past, um, here's what I'm going to say, uh, Taurus, you have, you have the, the Empress card coming through. All right. And I feel like that's going to go and correlate with this lover's card. So I feel like in the past, you guys are aware that you're, you're connecting with somebody on a very deep level. All right. Um, in the past with this nine of wands, this is again, talking about not being able to let somebody in, right? Um, not, you know, at the bottom of the deck, that four of um, coins is having yourself guarded, you know, not letting anybody in, just protecting your energy, protecting your heart space. And in the past, even though you feel a deep connection with somebody or they, you, um, somebody's not able to let this person in, um, whether it's you or them. All right. But I do feel like you guys, um, you, you, you forge a new beginning regardless. Okay. I feel that the protected mode, regardless of how deep the feelings roll here, I feel that it may not develop into anything in your past that becomes like a relationship status. All right. The reason why I'm saying that is because the page of pentacles is learning from failure. It's procrastination. It's lack of progress. Okay. But it is um, all about manifestations and, and putting positive thinking out there to the universe. So lack of progress, failures possibly, um, but new beginnings none, nonetheless. Okay. So what caused the disconnection? What caused this disconnection for Taurus? We got the three of cups coming through with the nine of swords. The magician and the emperor. Okay. So what I'm going to say is somebody's not ready here. Um, I feel like there's um, some, some healing that needs to go on. And I feel like there's a recognition of that. Okay. The reason why I'm saying that is because we have this nine of swords here and that's, a, uh, that's pain. That's worry. That's anxiety. That's suffrage. The magician, here's what I'm going to say. I feel like you guys do recognize the soul connection. You got the lover's card. You got the empress card coming through. I thought we seen the empress. Yes. 
All right, so you got the divine couple here. You got the soulmate energy coming through here. But what I feel is divine masculine in this case is not ready um, to pursue a full-on commitment. Um, the reason why I'm saying divine masculine is because the magician actually turns into the priest once there is instilled mature uh, maturity, growth, wisdom. All right, and what I feel is this person is just not ready to come together. They're not ready for a union. All right. I just feel like there's lack of growth. There's lack of believe it, the, the belief in these um, deep knitted connections. I feel like there is some um, fears um, that something's going to go south. Something's going to go wrong. There's hesitation. Um, you know, I just feel like too, the magician card could come through as, you know, um, delusion. I know it's not the, the hanged man, um, you know, I just feel like there's some uncertainty. There's some delusion. It could be too, that this person, um, was not ready. Like they could have other, um, people that they're playing with or, or talking to, you know, the three of cups, um, could be a, a, it could be a sign of union and it could also be a sign of third party. I don't feel like it would be a, a quote unquote third party though. If you guys were never fully, um, engaged in any sort of deep commitment here. Um, so what I just see here is, is growth. There needs to be growth for whatever the, um, for whatever has caused a disconnection. I feel like there is some immaturity. There is somebody who lacks the emotional stability, somebody who's lacking fully embracing that uh, divine connection, somebody who could even be scared of the connection because of how deep it feels. All right. I feel like there is a soulmate angle here, but somebody's not ready to take on all that energy. Um, the person that you're dealing with is coming through as temperance. Um, temperance could be uh, Sagittarius or somebody with Sagittarius in their chart. So the person on your mind, their energy, they're looking at, um, they're looking as, they're looking at this as being rejected, being abandoned, um, ghosted, um, everything falling apart. Um, but I feel like this person does come with understanding and patience. If this person, um, is, is not the immature one, um, I feel like they're hoping, you know, that, uh, um, they're understanding and patient. However, I feel if it's the, the opposite direction, I feel like this person is understanding of, the whole concept, you know, if you're not ready, Taurus, this person understands it. And if you're the one that's ready, this person hopes that you um, can be understanding and patient with them. All right. I feel like the Knight of Cups is how they feel towards you. Just, you know, youthful, loving, considerate, um, creative, um, imaginative when it comes to you. Um, it could also be that this person has unreal unrealistic expectations. They could be jealous and moody. All right. Um, I feel like they're in the energy of wanting to communicate, whatever the case may be. They want to talk to you. They want to see how you are. They want to express um, how they feel about you. And I feel like it is unconditionally positive um, energy that's coming through. How they think about, how they feel and think about the connection. The Queen of Pentacles. The sun card. So when they think about the connection, they get really happy. They get really excited. All right. But right now, um, I feel like ultimately they're battling the the good and the bad, the sad and the happy. I feel like they're balance. They're trying to balance that. Um, I feel like when they think about you, it brings joy. All right. But when they look at the past, it's like I I just miss this. I don't feel like it's anything dark. Um, I just feel like they miss the connection between you and them. All right. Um, how they feel about the connection is one that would embody um, nurturing. And that's towards each other. You guys being practical when it comes to each other. You guys being independent of each other. All right. Um, I feel like that's where they could see this going. Um, you know, being able to balance work and home. Um, you know, being able to balance caring for children. I just see that this person's kind of feeling like that and probably daydreams about that type of stuff. How they feel about you. How they see you. Some young, creative, youthful, intuitive, curious. Um, possibly they could see you with uh, some emotional immaturity. The Ace of Swords is wanting to communicate, wanting to draw clear and direct boundaries, wanting to open up the lines of communication and wanting to talk to you. All right. Wanting to tell you how they feel, or how everything is felt since you've been gone. Um, I feel like they, they wouldn't mind starting something new. 
Um, this is best friends. It's partnerships. All right. Um, wanting to be able to see what went wrong. You know, the eight of swords in reverse. This is about being wrapped up around something, having your brain submerged in, in question and, and being tied to something that has no um, closure, no answers. And I feel like that's where this person's sitting. I feel like they just want to know what's going on with you guys. They want clarity on the situation, but it's all, um, I feel like this person's, I feel like their energy is positive. It's not negative. I just feel like they don't know what to think right now. What does this person want to say to Taurus? What do they want to tell you, Taurus? Oh, you make me happy. You're everything a person could wish for. You know, when I see in the future, I see it with you and it brings joy to my eyes. It brings joy to my face. It brings happiness to my heart. The Seven of Swords. I know that you've been through a lot. I know that we've been through a lot and I'm sorry for that. Is there any way we can close the past so that we can move forward? All right. Is there any way that we can heal each other through the positive energy that we have for each other? You know? It's not all bad. It's not, life is not all bad. Um, our, there, here we go. The Six of Cups is that deep soulful connection that I feel for you. All the confirmations are here. You got the lovers, the emperor, the empress. You got all these confirmations here. And this person just wants to tell you how they feel. You know, um, this is past life. I know it without a doubt. Past life, soul connections. But also in this life, are we going to be able to come back around? Are you coming back to me or do I need to go to you? All right. Is this coming back around? Can we heal the past? Can we heal the trauma and the hurts? Um, I feel like you guys have probably experienced more hurt and trauma um, independent of each other. Um, and, but that's where fears start to kind of strike a chord within the connection is, um, you've already experienced it and it doesn't feel good to experience, um, loss of love. It doesn't feel good at all. It doesn't matter who you are. And that's why people get scared. So what's the next 30 days look like for these guys, for Taurus, the next 30 days we got, you guys are being spiritually guided. I feel like some shadow work is going to be done. You guys are coming out of some less than desirable um, situations, all right, when it comes to our own mental and emotional bodies. I feel the next 30 days is going to be um, coming out of this dark night of the soul, the less than desirable energies that we tend to go through, especially for those of you on a spiritual journey, all right? The high priest card, I feel like it, this is telling me that you guys will be guided back together. Um, there is going to be some sort of transformation and rebirth that happens within this connection in the next 30 days, which is something that's... Um, I feel it's it's a positive um, karm karmically induced energy that's coming from the universe. All right. So let's see what your advice is. The advice for Taurus. All right. When this comes back around, you guys will be talking. You guys will talk. All right. With mental clarity. Okay. Where there has been conflict, where you guys maybe have fought this in your heads and hearts, it's going to be reconciled within each other. The two of wands, another uh, deep soul um, connection card right here is saying you guys will actually choose a path to walk down. Um, even if it's just establishing the new lines of communication that need to come through, you guys will establish that <clears throat> you will embody, um, honest, forward, um, thinking, positive thinking communication that comes through. This is all sword energy and that's about the emotions. It's mental, uh, it's mental clarity. It's up there in the brain and in the mind space. I feel like that's energy that's all going to be cleared out. You guys will be talking, um, just make sure that you're speaking from your heart space, um, and setting your expectations out there for one another. All right. Um, being open, being honest, that's, what's really going to push you guys to be moving in the right direction. So let's see what initials come through. Just know that the initials uh, pulled, you guys are, um, this is a side note. The energy from the cards is what's important. So yours or this person's first, middle, or last. We have P, H, B, B, F, J, Y and Z. All right, Taurus, you guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you guys have the best Sunday ever. Take it easy.